The Okanagan Sun have won four straight. Welcome to Sunspots here on Shaw. Ryan Waters, head coach Shane Beattie, defensive back and BCFC defensive player of the week, Dexter Jenke joining us. Coach, let's go back to last weekend before we talk about the Raiders in this weekend. 31-10 victory over the Rams. Defense and special teams played outstanding. Yeah, I don't know if we could have played any better than we did. Um, I was very pleased with that and um, the execution of the game plan and um, the kids came through big time. Offensively, concerning at all? No, I mean, that's a good defense. Langley's um, loaded on defense as well. And um, I wasn't really surprised. I thought we'd be able to run the ball a little bit more efficiently. But um, overall, we did our best we could do. We just, Cam just missed a few balls um, that were there. Um, but overall, I was just, I was tickle pink. Dexter, you're part of the defense. Obviously, BCFC Defensive Player of the Week. Congratulations, Thank you. first of all. Coming into the game, their offense, highly touted as the highest scoring offense in the league, the high powered Rams offense, you shut them down. Was that surprising at all? Was this the most prepared you guys were? Um, I definitely say it was the most prepared we, had. we were uh, this season. We had that, the bye week coming off the bye week, so we had a little bit more time to prepare for them. And playing them once before, we, were, we had some, some film to base off of and see where we went wrong before. Um, but our, our defense is confident enough where we feel like we can stop anybody when we are executing well. So to say we were surprised by, by any means, I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with that. Two interceptions. You bring one down on the two-yard line. You saw the goal line. Were you, were you thinking touchdown? Yeah, I, I, I definitely should have scored. I, I got the, no I got the razz. <laughs> got a quite a bit. I think they caught, the QB caught me. So, I, yeah, I, it, I can't say that happened again. Yeah. Okay, Coach, let's look at this week. It's week eight of the BCFC season. You have the VR Raiders third time. It's awfully tough to beat a team three times in one single season, would you say? Oh, absolutely, and they're uh, much improved. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're clicking on all cylinders right now, and um, Coach has got them going, and they're really confident right now. So this is going to be a barn burner. It's going to be tough. We're going to their place and, um, you know, once again, taking the trip up there on Friday night, and we'll be prepared, and the kids are ready to rock and roll. Can you see the same sort of holes, the same successes that you had in that 64-20 victory in, in week four, I think it was, and bring it here to week eight? They're much better. Yeah. But once again, I think we're much better. Like I said last year, game seven, eight, nine, and ten, we need to be ready to roll. And um, I believe we are. Offensively, Alex Bradley's now back clicking on all cylinders as well. So it should be a good game. Dexter, the defense ready to go? Yes, sir. Yeah, like, uh, like we spoke last time, we were saying how uh, we still had some, some guys that need to click together. But uh, we, we were all coming together now, and it looks like we'll... We'll be ready for a big game. Okay, guys, thanks. We'll see you on Saturday down in Nanaimo. Okanagan Sun, it's week eight of the BCFC season. They face the VI Raiders for the third time this season. They've outscored the Raiders 102-20 to in the first two meetings. Catch the game and catch more information at okanagansun.ca. For Sunspots here on Shaw, I'm Ryan Waters.